Welcome back to Apple Addiction YouTube channel. New MacBook Pro models have been eagerly anticipated after rumors of a redesigned 14-inch MacBook Pro and 16-inch MacBook Pro hinted at a more powerful Apple Silicon processor inside. The rumors have made it pretty clear that this will be a big year for the MacBook Pro. In terms of design, the new MacBook Pros are said to feature an all-new form factor and will reportedly be available in 14-inch and 16-inch screen sizes using the new mini LED screen technology. So in this video, we are going to discuss MacBook Pro M2, what to expect. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Display and Processor Speaking of upcoming next-gen pros, you probably know that the main changes will be a flat design, which would resemble the iPad Pro and the iPhone 12 line, a larger 14-inch display on the 13-inch model, alongside mini-LED technology for a brighter panel with better contrast, and a more powerful M1X M2 chip alongside more ports. Ports have been reported before by Mark Gurman and Ming-Chi Kuo, and according to them, MagSafe would be coming back alongside a dedicated HDMI port and an SD card reader. Apple's custom processors have powered iPhone and iPad for years, and now they are being used in the Mac. The late 2020 13-inch MacBook Pro uses the Apple-made M1 chip, which improves performance over the 10th generation Intel chips in the early 2020 equivalents. The version of the M1 in the new MacBook Pro has an 8-core CPU and an 8-core GPU. Apple says the new notebook is up to 2.8 times faster with 5 times faster graphics than its early 2020 counterpart. The 14-inch MacBook Pro would likely include either a high-powered M1X chip or a new Apple Silicon, like M2, updated for 2021. A predicted benchmark for the M1X chip said it may have a 12-core CPU and a 16-core GPU. It could feature 256 execution units, rather than the M1's 128, and may be able to two external displays instead of just one. In this new report, Mark Gurman once again confirms the chassis redesigned alongside the ports we heard about before, and he also gave us the code names for these machines, J314 for 14-inch MacBook Pro and J316 for the 16-inch model. Performance Mark Gurman also gave us details on actual performance improvements that these machines will get. Mark says that the main focus of the new M1X slash M2 chip would be the graphics are done, the CPU performance. Well, that's about to change, because according to Mark Gurman, Apple's second-gen silicon would offer 16 and 32-core GPU options. The Apple M1 chip was built using TSMC's 5-nanometer process node. However, as per the report, the alleged M2 chip is expected to be produced using TSMC's 4-nanometer processor node. The 4-nanometer process node means the upcoming processor will be even more power-efficient and powerful compared to its predecessor. The M2 chip is expected to feature a total of 8 cores that include 4 high-performance cores and 4 energy-efficient cores. The processor is also speculated to feature improved graphics cores. Regardless of the size of their nodes, the Apple M2 and M1X will have the same number of cores in their CPU part, i.e. 10. On the graphics side, some rumors point to the presence of 32 cores for the Apple M1X, which the Apple M2 should contain a lower number. The details on the new chip come from BGR's Chris Smith. Nikkei Asia now claims that TSMC could start shipping the tentatively called M2 SoC in July. The chip will be used in MacBooks that are scheduled to go on sale in the second half of the year, the report notes, without providing any specific. The new M-Series chipset will be built on TSMC's latest semiconductor production technology, 5 nanometer plus, or N5P. Producing the chips will take at least three months. The M1 only comes in an 8-core GPU configuration. If you're wondering about the 7-core MacBook Air, that's just a lower-quality bean version of the M1, so it's still the same design. What this means is that if there are no other improvements other than just the core account increase, the M1X would offer up to four times the GPU performance of the M1, which is nuts. And the fact that Apple will give us the ability to choose between two different GPU options shows that Apple isn't planning on giving up choices for pro users anytime soon. Now, Gurman writes in his newsletter that, the next several weeks are destined to be light on product news, but new MacBook Pros are still expected this year. For Apple, all attention is on the fall, so the next several weeks are destined to be light on product news. We're about three months away from the next iPhone and Apple Watch models going on sale, along with the releases of iOS 15, iPad OS 15, and Watch OS 8. So stay tuned for plenty of news on those after the summer doldrums. 
And don't forget about the iPad and Mac. Apple has a new entry-level iPad for students, and revamped MacBook Pros and iPad Minis coming later this year, too. Mark Gurman also reported that on top of these massive upgrades, the M1X will also feature some CPU upgrades of its own, with 10 cores up from 8. And the way they would work is also a bit different now. A smaller, more affordable version of the Mac Pro, unofficially referred to as the Mac Pro Mini, could also use the M2, but in a smaller design, it has been suggested. The biggest challenge might not be performance, but production bottlenecks. Apple may be huge, but it still faces the same headaches of the chip manufacturing industry that others in tech, automotive, and other segments have struggled with. Sluggish recovery after the pandemic has led to severe product shortages, conspicuously in high-end graphics cards and consoles like the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Though Apple's deal with TSMC may see it jump ahead of rivals in the priority rankings. Mark Gurman says that unlike the M1, which supports up to 16 gigabytes of RAM slash unified memory, this new M1X chip would support up to 64 gigabytes. Yes, we are finally getting more RAM options, and it would also support more Thunderbolt ports. But of course, there was one downside Digitimes reported earlier this week, that the mini LED panels for these new MacBook Pros have actually been pushed into 2022. Personally, we would still be extremely happy with just the redesign and the performance improvements. Of course, that if we also get the mini LED display, we would be even happier, but we don't see it as being an issue. If it does get pushed until 2022, when the second model of this design MacBook Pros comes out. Keyboard After years of the butterfly keyboard's increased failure rates and reported stickiness and repeating keys, Apple finally found a suitable replacement in the 2020 MacBook updates. The Magic Keyboard uses a new scissor switch mechanism, which has one millimeter of travel and appears to be more resilient than its predecessor. The 13-inch MacBook Pro finally received this new keyboard in its early 2020 refresh and Apple retained the mechanism for the late 2020 MacBook models. Apple will likely continue to use the Magic Keyboard in any future models. As with the other MacBook Pro with Touch Bar, the 14-inch model is expected to include a physical escape key. User frustration over a digital escape key, one without tactile feedback that could disappear during use, must have been heard loud and clear. The exact specifications of the M2 are unclear at this stage, though it's expected to bring a performance upgrade compared to the M1. So far, Apple has used that in its more affordable models, initially the MacBook Air and Mac Mini, along with the smaller 13-inch MacBook Pro. The new 24-inch iMac is also targeted at a consumer audience, with the all-in-one introducing new color options along with a much slimmer design. Dimensions The only difference between the 14-inch MacBook Pro and the 16-inch MacBook Pro is going to be the display size. Now, this is my theory, and it sounds crazy, but it actually makes sense. As the 14 and 16 inch models would both run on the same M1X slash M2 chip. So there wouldn't be any performance differences between the two, unless Apple restricts some configuration options when you buy it, such as the 32 core GPU to the 16 inch model. But at least from a technical standpoint, the 14 inch model can have the same specs as the 16 inch. And just like the 11 inch and the 12.9 inch pros, where both had the same exact M1 chip, we do expect Apple to give us the exact same performance on both models of the MacBook Pros with the only remaining difference between the two laptops being the display size and possibly a better battery life on the 16-inch model. What is your opinion about the upcoming MacBook Pro? Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.